about the fruits of the Spirit, but sometimes it's not really thoughtful talk. Sometimes it's as if a person in their own power and their own will could create these fruits. It's just kind of the nature of, of an apple tree to cooperate with its design and its function and its purpose. I wonder what it would be like if we really understood that the God of the universe had a design for humanity, had a purpose for humanity, and a, and a function for humanity. That design and purpose and function was to really reflect who he is, to be able to be so shaped by the, the Spirit that we produce the fruit of the Spirit. not something that I'm going to ever be able to produce on my own, but instead it's that what Jesus talks about, hungering and thirsting after what is right and what is righteous. We just have to live by faith that requesting that we be filled by the Spirit, we then cooperate with that Spirit who invites us to reflect His love and joy and peace and forbearance and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control. What a world it would be to live in all of that. What a possibility exists when we believe that this is God's will for humanity, God's will for each and every one of us as we cooperate with His grace.